Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we have a new kit from Vaporstorm, the name is Trip, suitcase like mode, two 18650 batteries, 200 watt maximum output and comes with the mesh coil tank. And in this video we're gonna do the unboxing, we will quickly go over the devices, then go back on top and vape it. So let's dive down now. And here's the packaging for the trip kit by Vaporstorm. Here we can see the color configuration is blue. Warnings here. And on the flip side we have the package contains, some specs and some manufacturer info. Plus we have the scratch and check part here. Quick response code. Let's open it. And here we have the user manual for the kit. QC Pest certification. We have the battery warnings here, which is very important. We have the mod in blue color. Our tank. Here we have the spare bubble glass tube. Some o rings. We have the USB to micro USB cable for charging your batteries. And here we have the spare mesh coil. So let's start from the tank. It's Vapor Storm Trip Sabon tank. Blue color to match the mod. But the color's a little bit different. In general, it's okay. It's 24 millimeter in diameter. Here we have the gold plated pin. Do not use this one on the hybrid mechanical mods. Trip, designed by Vaporstorm. Our bottom airflow, dual sided. With the stopper. On the top we have the 510 drip tip. Top fill, need to find this arrow and just move it. So we have the kidney shaped fill port here tank holds 4 ml of juice with this glass colored glass plus you can change it to the 6 ml one this bubble glass tube now let's try it on here let's check the coil first and the coils you get with this tank is the Hawk Sabon tank coils. Mesh coil appears to be Cantal, but it's not stated. Single mesh coil, and the other one in the package is here. And they are just the same. So even says on them it's Hawk 0.2 ohm coil head, rated 20 to 80 watts, and best at 40 to 60. Now let's put it back. <clears throat> this. Yeah, here we go. And here's how it looks like with the bubble glass. So now let's get to the mud. And here's the Vapor Storm Trip mod. Trip, the name I guess because of whole design of it resembles the travel suitcase. So the name is also kind of Trip. Here we have the V Storm logo, the name. It's made of aero metal. The manufacturer says, but it's appeared to be aluminum alloy. It's very light. The weight of it is only 90 grams without the batteries and eight, 180 grams with two 18650 batteries. So basically the weight of the mud is same with two batteries. For example, this Sony VTC batteries. And uh, on the top, it comes with the 510 connector, spring loaded gold plated pin here. Now let's check the 24 millimeter tank. 
and it seems to be flush so anything above 24 millimeters will overhang on it and the size is pretty compact it's 85 millimeter tall 27 millimeter wide and 51 millimeter here here we have the clicky button fire button water jump wattage down buttons your micro USB port for charging the batteries and the OLED display here and here we have the battery cover it's very clean inside you can clearly see the battery orientation here plus have this thingy to remove the batteries so here positive goes up and here negative goes up Place the cover. Oops. Yeah, clicks, and it sits good. There's no side movements, and appears to be almost no up and down movement. So it sits very solid. And here you can see separated bars for each of the batteries. Here will be your resistance output voltage and vaping time let's see if it's round robin it does not so maximum 200 watts goes pretty quick and the bottom is 5 watts here we have the mode variable voltage variable wattage so let's try three times clicking one two three nothing happens so to switch the modes you need to press wattage up and wattage down together and here you can switch to temperature control nickel stainless steel titanium memory modes bypass here your curve mode here you can play it around with it to find your favorite flavor but i don't use it honestly so back to wattage mode And let's try these buttons. Nothing happens. And we can flip the screen here. Yeah. Now let me place the tank on top of it. So, by the way, it's available in four colors, blue stainless steel which is more looks like gray i'm using this one comes with the stainless steel tank and the red version comes with the red tank uh, black version version comes with the black tank so let me place this tank on top new coil yes and if you press water drop and fire button There was the feature to lock the resistance, but seems it's not working now. Yeah, just forget it. So basically we are done in here. Now let's go back on top. Let's try it, let's vape it and talk about it more. And we're back on top with the Vapor Storm Trip Kit. Have it on 68 watts fully open the airflow. Let me show you the vapor production. And as you can see the vapor production is really good. The flavor is also decent out of this mesh coil as you can expect. And I find myself the sweet spot of this coil it's 68 watts it's rated uh, maximum at the 80 watts but i feel like when you go over the 70 watts it becomes too hot so now it's just very very comfortable very warm saturated vape let me hit again yeah it's really nice flavor the airflow is smooth but 
there is a little bit of sounds like it's it's wanted to start uh, to whistling, but it's kind of okay. Almost nothing. The 510 drip tip is comfortable. I guess with this kind of coil it gives you the maximum flavor. And the overall, the mud itself is very lightweighted. So if you don't like to carry around very heavy devices, it's really a good choice. And also the battery cover sits really, as, as you saw in the close-up, no rattles in there. And the design is kind of cool, looks like the travel suitcase. So basically we are done here. If you find this video informative and helpful, please do subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Thank you for watching us, we will see you in our next videos.